Well, Tom Hoare, boy, but more importantly, it's PrecisionTranslationTools.com. And, and you, know, you have this great crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo, and it seems like you're the first per. I've, I've done like 700 interviews like this, and most of them is like for consumers products, you know, just for consumers. But you figured out how to use crowdfunding almost like a business to business because your product is really professional translators who are in business, aren't they? Well, you're right. It's uh, it is a business to business uh, software tool. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Well, our, our customers, our customers are professional translators. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and that's I mean, I, I think challenge. you're starting a trend now. How to use this, you know, crowdfunding tool for a business to business? I mean, why not? You're doing it. You're doing it successfully, you know, and, and and you're learning how to market your product so much better by just doing it. Well, thank you. Yeah, the, it, the whole goal for our campaign was to learn how to communicate with, find, identify, and communicate with our, our customer base. And uh, we've had an amazing response and return on our, our, our experience. Yeah. Yeah. Because it seems like your option was like to do a market study and you're going to spend tens of thousands of dollars some consultant who's going to do a market study for you. That's not my budget. Right. So, so yeah, it, it, the, 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 the Indiegogo platform uh, is actually perfect for us because we have translators, uh, potential customers all over the world. I mean, yeah. Think about it. Somebody who needs to translate from, from uh, English to French, French doesn't necessarily have to live in England, in, in England or the U.S. or France. Uh, they sometimes live in Australia. Or they want to so, <laughs> want to translate yeah. from uh, you know, German to French. That uh, your system does that too, correct? It, it translates pretty much any language. It really depends on what the translator brings to the table. Ah. Uh, the, tra- the translator needs uh, a history of their own work. I see. And our software, our software takes that history, that database, if you will, of their own work, and it converts it into an engine that ah. they use right on their own window. So in other words, when you say their own work, so the, the original document they're translating and their output of the translation, is that what you take in your database? It's not my database, it's their database. Yes, the I mean, but to create the algorithm or whatever. Yes, exactly. The translator doesn't normally work with a, a word processor, okay? Mm-hmm. They typically work in a very customized, very specialized editing tool that opens up a document and then saves the original I see. source language text. Right. And, it's, and, and it takes the, the translated text that they created and it saves it in a database. Mm-hmm. And then they can reuse that database uh, again and again and again. Mm-hmm. And what we've done is we've added software that takes that database that they can reuse and it creates an engine that is not limited to what's in the database. It actually generates any translation wow. that can be translated from within that database. And, and it seems from reading the literature, it seems like it, it really senses the style of the translator, too. That so it, it, it doesn't look like, you know, my Kindle, you know, this this computer reading the stuff out. <laughs> very, very true. Very true. The, it takes on the personality of the translator because it learns from the translator's work. Okay? Ah. So if the translator has four or five years, three years of their own work that they've done themselves, it learns only from that. It, it can't reach out and find something else that's not there because it doesn't have to be connected to yeah. the Internet. Wow. Okay. So if a translator has a lot of, a lot of times translators will swap and trade their databases amongst each oh, other. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. And so if they've done that, it will, it will learn from whatever the translator does. Wow. Gets. So this is uh, intelligence, you know, computer intelligent design or whatever you call it. I mean, the computers are learning from the words. I mean, and they get yeah, better at it. The, the, the boring way of saying it, it's machine learning, artificial intelligence. I see. Go there. This is this is uh, this is just a way that a translator mm-hmm. can use what they've already done in the past to help them work faster wow. in, in their current work. Yeah. And, and what I can't get over to is the price. I mean, this is on Indiegogo is like less than three hundred fifty bucks, and, and and it seems like this kind of stuff was. You know, just outrageous to most small business translators, I would think. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. When I first started in this part of my career, about six, seven, about eight years ago, okay, this kind of software um, would run on a big grid 
a, a big network of computers would work mm. together, and to convert a database of uh, of, uh, of translations into this engine that makes it work might take fifty computers working for two weeks. Wow! Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what happens in computers? There's two things you can be guaranteed is going to happen in, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, with computers. They get smaller, they get faster, they get cheaper. Yeah. So that's three things. Okay. So in the ten years since this software I came see. out, it's gotten better and faster. Ah, I okay? see. So. And 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 we work with some universities that actually create the software for academic research, ah. and we take their work and we commercialize it. And I it see. The desktop of the computer of of a, of a, of a right. translator's. Computer. Wow. No, I mean, that's what I, I would think. It's just, you know, phenomenal. It used to be out of reach for anybody. And, and you're making it, you know, and I, I'm sure the translation business, I mean, there's not a whole lot of big company, Fortune 500 companies in it. A majority of it, I would think, individual translators, small businesses. Is that correct? 80% of all of the translation companies out there uh -huh. that, that are measured by some of the, the analysts that right. study this kind of thing. 80% of them have less than five people. Wow. Wow. Well, that's a big market. So that's what I mean. <laughs> and, and less than five people. Right. And, and so you add to that the individual translator that, sit the, that sits at the yeah. desktop as a freelance uh, uh, right. translator at home, yeah. the, the, the market is huge. Yeah. And so how do you communicate with such a fragmented mm -hmm dispersed market social media has been our, our, our saving grace in this we've put the word out through social media the social media points to the indiegogo campaign ah, right. people see people see the indiegogo campaign at first our audience said well why are you using indiegogo uh -huh. it sounds strange okay and the, and the answer was we wanted our think about it you're an individual translator you mm -hmm. work at home but you're working with people halfway around right. the world because you're working for uh, 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 an agency or another another right. uh, customer halfway around the world. Trust is really important I on see. both sides of the equation. And so we said, you know, we want you, our customer, our potential customer, we want you to be able to look at this campaign and have absolute transparency so that you know if you commit yeah. your money, you know where it goes. Yeah, it's sort of like authenticity yeah. of, of who you yeah. are and what you're doing. I mean, it's like ha having your your product in Neiman Marcus to buy versus. <laughs> yeah, and, and secondly, there, there's some oversight. Indiegogo, we have some obligations yeah. to Indiegogo by using their platform. Mm -hmm. And they look at us and they say, hey, look, you promised this. We're going to hold you to your promise. Yeah. So the translator has a third party that can actually help be their advocate uh -huh. to make sure that we stay. Well, now, another thing I was thinking about is that, I mean, professional translators know how bad, like, Google Translate is for doing any kind of real work, I would think, most of them. But the average person doesn't. So <laughs> how do we educate the rest of the world that your translator is not a Google Translate that, I mean, I know five words in Chinese and Google Translate misses those up most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> great for what it's designed for. Uh -huh. great. It's, it's, it's designed to help people uh, who are not translators to be able to uh, at least get the gist or understanding yeah. of what's happening. Okay, good enough that they can search for something on the internet and, ass and, and assist with that process. Um, our software is is really uh, a, a tool for professionals, much yeah. like a, a, a smartphone camera is for everybody to use. But the Nikon that a professional photographer uses sitting at the goal line of the Super Bowl is he uses a professional yeah. equipment. So we're making that professional equipment yeah. for professionals. But I mean, it, it, I mean, you get a Nikon camera, you could spend 10 grand on this. Thing. <laughs> but I mean, that's what's so neat about your your item. I mean, for less than 350 bucks, you got this on Indiegogo. I mean, that's wonderful for such a, a powerful tool. So if people want to find out about it, uh, even if the campaign's over, we can still order from you, correct? Yes, we we are about ready to cross the threshold, and uh -huh. it has a special has a special feature uh, that when we hit our goal of uh, six thousand five hundred dollars, right, we're, we we can convert the campaign uh, into what's called an in demand status. I see. You know, by popular demand. Right. Exactly. So, so by, <laughs> by popular demand, the in demand status means we'll keep the campaign open, and people can continue to to experience the benefits of the discounts we're offering right. 
in advance of our launch. Our launch is going to be in January 2000. I see. Well, wonderful. So right now to get get in on this is Precision Translation Tools dot com go there see all tom's work you know <laughs> and what he's been spending a career doing i mean this is you're not some fly by night who decide to get the translation business you've been doing this your life and uh thank you for doing all this great work and and getting it down to a reasonable price to have a professional product at a reasonable price so many people like to gouge professionals and uh it, it's nice that you know you're very price sensitive so thank you for your work tom take it up thank and thank you for the interview i really appreciate you it. bet and stay warm out there in thailand <laughs> <Okay. Thank you. laughs> take Bye -bye. care